<clears throat> yeah, sorry guys about the last uh, video there. It cut off at the end. I recorded for too long. Um, so yeah, uh, check it out though, dudes. I unlocked Ian and I beat time attack in less than six minutes. You're supposed to. So yeah, I did it. Didn't lose a single one. Nice. Ooh, top score. Top score, bitch. Fuck yeah, dude. Suck a dick. I'm so good. So yeah, now I finally unlocked him. Yep, got the uh, third costume. Nice. So yeah, as I was saying though, the Halo show is not very good. And I was, uh... I forgot how to play the tag mode. I forgot to play as her. I haven't played as her in a while. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. Yeah, I'm sucking. Yeah, I'm a little rusty, not gonna lie. This is fucked up. Oh, that was flawless. Damn. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I'm a little rusty and I'm still fucking doing pretty good here. Man, are you going to fall for it three times in a row? No. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I love this character. His punches are just fucking the best, dude. Punch your fucking ass out good. Oh, shit. Ow, fuck you. Oh. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Xbox One Elite controller is the best for fighting games, honestly. I think the D-pad, it, it's better for like a tactical game, like, I don't know, like you just push up or down or side to side on the D-pad. You don't really rely on getting pretty precise button combos. So I think if I switch to a PlayStation controller, I'd probably do a little bit better. Oh, you bastard. Anyways, 
I did it. I unlocked him. Yay! I think that means I unlocked everything in the game, pretty much. I don't know, maybe there's a few costumes or whatever. Yeah, but yay! I honestly think, though, the best uh, tag team mode um, combo is uh, Red Haired Lady and uh, Purple Haired Lady. Yeah, these two, I think, are the ultimate, like, nasty uh, combo of death. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting a feel for it again. Oh, shit. Getting a feel for it. Oh my god, flawless. Yeah, see? <laughs> you can do some damage with these uh, these teams. These two little girls are fucking scary, dude. They'll fucking murder you. Oh, nice one, dude. How do you do the spin kick? Her epic, like, super spin kick move. I forget how you do that. How do you do that? Yeah. Man, she's such a good character. I'm still screwing up, though. I'm not landing my precision jumps like I... I used to. I used to be fucking very untouchable and precise with this character. I suck. I think I need a better controller. Or maybe I'm just rusty crusty. And I'm still doing not too bad. Man, it's such a fucking nasty combo to do that. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Goddamn. <laughs> the slow-mo on the panties. What the fuck? These old guys versus these young ladies. Oh, man. Oh, I did it. The super spin kick. I did it, dude. Right there. Boom! Take that, drunken bastard. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm done. I need to go to bed here in a bit here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, Marty O'Donnell, you stink. Turns out he was a dickhead this whole time. We all thought he was cool, but nah, he's a prick. Hard pr to work with, and uh, he only created a few decent things, and he kind of rode, rode on that fame and ego and it got to his head and 
he thought he could do whatever he wanted and he tried to fuck over other musicians that he worked with and stuff and yeah he's just a bad shitty person dude and it's no wonder nobody wants to hire him you know and he's stuck with doing that Gollum soundtrack or whatever that fucking dumb game that nobody cares about like I'm sorry, dude, but uh, who gives a shit about that? Gollum is stupid. That game is not great. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, Marty O'Donnell. It's a real shame that you had to turn into a piece of dog shit. Because um, you made some decent jams, man, for Halo, dude. But I don't think you're as great as some people make you out to be. I think you're a mediocre uh, composer. And that's how that goes. But, uh, yeah. Seriously, compared to so many other musicians. Eh, you're... Come on, man. You're not better than everyone else. Give me a break. So, yeah. It's a shame. Turns out to be a douchebag. But, you know, it happens. A lot of people in the music industry are pieces of shit, you know? It's not a big deal. It's kind of funny, actually. But, yeah, I was uh, looking up um, uh, videos on YouTube to semi summarize the uh, Halo, um, uh, Halo TV show. And a lot of people are saying it's bad and stuff. And, yeah, they're right. <laughs> but um, I noticed on one video, Marty O'Donnell was commenting and... It's like, man, this guy goes around commenting a lot on these uh, Halo shill YouTuber types like Act Boy and Hidden Diarrhea. Um, yeah, these fucking, these dickheads, dude. Like, Halo Infinite is about to come out. It, it's it, it's going to have microtransactions. It's going to be online only. It's going to be an unfinished mess. And here you dickheads are going, Oh, I can't wait for it to come out. You should get. You should be excited. It's like fuck that, dude. Like you're such a fucking boot licking bitch. And these are the guys who are interviewing Marty O'Donnell and not asking him about his weird, controversial uh, alt right takes. He's apparently transphobic. He doesn't agree with trans people existing. Wants them to like die. I guess. Like what the fuck? Like, uh, come on, man. Not everybody is a straight white guy like you. Let it go, man. It's a pretty dumbass fucking hate-filled, antagonistic uh, worldview stance, you know. Like, how do we expect to get along if you're in the same room as somebody and you want them to be dead and unalived? You know, like, come on, man. Get a grip. So, yeah, Marty is kind of a piece of shit, man. He, uh... Yeah. Yeah, so... Um... Uh, yeah, just kind of a greedy bastard and just kind of a bad guy. Yeah, I didn't know that about him. So, pretty, uh... Pretty crazy. Not shocking, really. Kind of not too surprising, honestly. But, uh... You know, whatever. <laughs> Wasn't my favorite composer. Like I said, David Wise and Yamatsu and uh, Mitsuri and uh, Yoko, uh, those guys and that lady, they're like the best, man. And then like even like these indie guys, you know, at Sab Sabotage, they're fucking great. Sorry, Marty, but uh, you're nothing compared to these people. They're fucking fantastic so yeah that that's kind of tragic that marty had to turn out to be a fucking dickhead pretty lame pretty lame yeah ended up in legal hell what a jackass yeah people tried to give him the benefit of the doubt too because he seemed like such a nice guy and a lot of the halo music is loved by many people so what the fuck 
even though they had like live orchestra in Halo 3. Like, what about all those people? You know, come on. So not everything was uh, about the music through Marty O'Donnell, you know. And honestly, no musician uh, is real, truly their own thing, really. You know, they're influenced and helped by a lot of other people to become who they are and whatnot. So, whatever. People shouldn't get so butthurt over it. Finding out that somebody uh, who you thought was cool is actually an asshole. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing. It's going to happen to you in life. Or sometimes they were cool, but then they turn into an asshole. Or they were not that cool, but then they got worse. <laughs> yeah, like, like something like that, you know. So, eh, what, what are you going to do, man? Who gives a shit? Just learn to separate the art uh, from the artist. But if the artist sucks and the art also sucks then, uh, yeah, whatever, fuck that person completely. <laughs> like, huh, so you're useless in real life, and you're useless in uh, uh, the artistic fictional world, like you can't make a game or write a song or or <laughs> make a movie or anything, write a book or anything like that, like you suck at all this stuff. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then fuck you completely. Like, if you're going to be a shitty human being, can you at least be like Stanley Kubrick and create, uh, you know, good art? <laughs> but yeah, if you're like J.K. Rowling, I'm sorry, Harry Potter fucking sucks. That shit is trash. And if you liked it, you were probably just some dumb kid and you didn't realize all the racist and weird sexist crap that she has in her, the themes of all her writing and all that shit. So when you reach the age of reason, you know, you start getting smart enough, you start to realize, oh, this person is a hack and also a weird fucking piece of shit. Transphobe fucking cretin. White feminist, you know, kind of, ugh. The worst. So yeah, a lot of things, uh, a lot of things are made in this world by people who suck. Pedophiles, rapists, you know. Fucking, I don't know, maybe some sicko who killed someone and had sex with their dead body. You don't know. There's all kinds of weirdos out there doing weirdo shit, you know. And a lot of them help run and create and do a lot of things in our society that allow you to exist. You know, everything is uh, connected. So, whatever, man. No need to freak out that Marty O'Donnell is a piece of shit. It's just good to know that, you know, he's not that special and he thinks he is and... Whatever. <laughs> like, fuck that guy. But, uh, thanks for making the Halo theme, I guess. I kind of like it. I don't really like the main part that's mostly popular. I like the, uh, more guitar solo-y kind of part, you know? But, whatever. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I gotta get going to bed here. But yeah, Marty O'Donnell, he sucks. That that blows. Because, uh, you know, it's it's kind of weird. It's like, uh, I kind of like your music. Or I kind of like your, your food, your restaurant. Or I kind of like your, you know. <laughs> like, like, but you yourself are an, actually a fucking dick. It's a thing that happens. It kind of sucks, but whatever. Not the end of the world. <clears throat> Anyways, but uh, yeah, I saw these Halo YouTubers uh, with Marty in the comment section, and I was like, why is Marty being so buddy-buddy with these YouTube Halo shill, like, dickheads, you know? Like, these people suck. What the fuck? And um, that's when I started to figure out, uh, does Marty O'Donnell suck? Like, is he a prick? Because I heard he was getting into legal trouble, but I assumed he was in the right. I just assumed, because, like, yeah, he's a great guy. But, uh, no, nope, turns out he's a fucking dick. Yep, he was fired from Bungie because he's hard to work with and was making everybody else's job harder. And, uh, yeah. 
Then he tried to sell uh, music that he didn't have the rights to anymore because he sold that shit off. He he made that under Bungie, so they owned it. So he's trying to fucking profit off of that shit. I'm like, dude, that's like illegal. You can't do that, man. That's like saying, oh, oh yeah, here's my art. I'm selling you my painting. Here, you can buy my painting for $100, thank you. And then you put the painting up in your room, and then I just break into your house, and I go, hey, it's my art, right? So I'm selling it back to you again, $100. You want it back? It's $100. And, and, like, I can just steal it back and sell it again and steal it back. You see, that's why you can't have uh, rules like, the rules can't be a certain way, you know? You can't just, uh, if you sell the rights to your art, you know, then that's that's that. Like, that's what George Lucas did. He sold his shit, his Star Wars to Disney. George Lucas can't fucking make Star Wars movies, okay? Like, he sold the rights. And that's how this works, you know? Bungie owns the uh, rights to his music that he created when he was working under them. You know? They provided him all these tools and all these people that helped him make the music, you know? Like, he's not the only fucking workhorse here. Without them, he wouldn't have been able to create all the crazy music. Like, they provide a studio. They provide, you know, all this time. They pay for everything for the guy so he can just fuck off and make music. Like, come on, man. You gotta give them some credit. You can't just steal from them. Like, so, yeah, Marty, you fucking suck, dude, that you did that shit. That's fucked up. And then he leads, like, Twitter mobs, and, yeah, he's just... Turning into a trimper, a MAGA, MAGA chud type fucking piece of crap. Like, dude, get a fucking life, man. So, yeah, lame, right? And like I said, he's not even that good of a composer. Like, he doesn't have, like, a, sh a endless amount of fucking memorable tracks like David Wise or Yamatsu or somebody like that. Like, no, you, you, you did, like, five or so. It's not so bad. <laughs> but anyways yep yeah, um, so yeah that's when I decided to look into how much of a piece of crap he is and yeah to my surprise because I really don't care that much I stopped paying attention to Halo type dickhead YouTubers a long time ago when I found out that so many of them are just like cod bro fucking dickheads you know what I mean like and they all say the dumb, same fucking shit all the time. And then they usually have alt-right kind of behavioral and views, you know. Like, they'll say things like, oh, that's woke. I don't like that. That's woke. Oh. Like, they seriously talk like this. It's just like, ah, oh, goddamn. The Halo fan base is filled with fucking, really fucking stupid people. So, it's annoying. So I stepped away from those kinds of uh, people. But I uh, want to keep up with Halo news a little bit, just for fun. So I chime in and check that shit out every now and then. And I find really dumb things, like Marty O'Donnell being a fucking crazy person. Like, whatever. But I do think it's funny that Xbox is fucking up. Yeah, I love how... Um, Xbox is, uh, like I said, they got a great controller with the uh, Series uh, 2 Elite. They got um, a great console. It's powerful. It's the most powerful console that you can get. The Sirius Xbox. And before that, it was the Xbox One X. And, uh, yeah. And uh, the online service, Xbox Live with Game Pass and all that. That's the best one. So, yeah. Good job, Microsoft, in the, that regard. But your games suck, dude. Your fucking... Your games are microtransaction, online-only, unfinished games. You turned Fable, Halo, and Gears of War into that. That sucks, dude. Like, you fucked everything up. The thing that mattered most, the games, you fucked it all up. So, this is what I... This is why I think you assholes, you know, turned into a... Uh, you know, um, a dying console, because, dude, 
It, it is, uh, what, like 22 million PS5s sold so far versus the 7 million PS, uh, uh, Xbox uh, Series Xs that have been sold. Like, that's it. It's been, like, it's going on four fucking years, dude. And you've only sold 7 million? Like, dude, you sell, like, 2 million a year? That is pathetic. Nobody gives a fuck about you anymore, Xbox. Like, good God, what is happening? And like I said, there was this one fucking idiot who was just like, it's gonna ruin the gaming industry. And it's like, it's already pretty much ruined, dude. Like, <laughs> It's rare when we get anything good at anymore like gaming sucks now dude just play the old shit <laughs> anyway so yeah good night guys I'm fucking tired <laughs>